Hey, Cole, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Doing great. Uh, you, you're working with Coach Herb Hand. He's the offensive line coach. I'm sure you've gotten to know him a little bit over the last month. What's it been like? What's he like? And what's it like finally getting to work with him on the field? He's a great guy, you know, um, really self-driven. You know, he knows what he's talking about. He's been around the sport for a long time. Um, he's a, a player's coach, you know. He's on and off the field. You have great conversations with him, whether it's about him cooking or it's about, you know, inside his own footwork. But it's been a pleasure, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of our time together. As you evaluate your game, what would you like to do to take it to another level? Uh, first and foremost, um, especially just working on the details, you know, there's never uh, too much you can do with the details. It's just focusing on those. The little details become uh, big things, especially when um, you're in a cohesive group of uh, five guys. You want to work on yourself at the same time. You want to get your whole unit together because, you know, it's not a one man position. It's you got five guys up there. So you're only as strong as your weakest link. So I feel like me working on my game, I really got to help other guys and, have, and be vulnerable to other guys helping me, even though I'm an older guy. So I think that's uh, you got to put something like that into perspective, really, to increase your game and kind of lose the ego. Cole, you guys are, are an experienced group up, up front on the line. Are there any other players maybe that you see, younger guys, maybe you see some stepping up? I know it's like two, two practices, but you see maybe some guys step up in the weight room and on, on the practice field? Of course, yeah, especially when this, uh, the new staff came in. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys kind of stepping up because at the same time, we're all in the same boat. You know, we got a new staff. Um, Everyone's new to each other, so nobody really knows um, what guys are the dudes on the field and who's not. So everyone got their own chance to kind of um, make a name for themselves. So I feel like we all kind of started in the same position, but definitely seeing younger guys, you know, second year guys stepping up and uh, really proud of them taking initiative on the field, especially with learning our, our new uh, our new footwork. So I, I'm really proud of those guys and I hope we keep pushing forward through there. Cole, what have you seen over not just this couple of weeks or practices you've had so far, but over the past year or so since he's arrived at campus and now where he is now, what have you seen from Paul Rupel? No, oh, I've seen tremendous change. You know, um, it was really hard for him because you have to understand he, he's learning. He was learning English. He's, he's pretty good when he first got here, but when it translates to calls and, and in the meeting rooms, it was a little bit harder for him to kind of register the calls and, you know, just our own lingo. So, on, this, on, on that note, I think he's doing a great job really being able to register our calls and be able to figure out um, that, all those sorts of things, especially um, just him getting experience in the game of football. Uh, he's having a lot more experience, getting a lot more comfortable. We, we all still need a lot more work to do, but I see him definitely kind of getting a little more comfortable and pushing himself a little bit more. Oh, you're one of the few guys left that I believe that were, you know, here for the for the first transition when Frost left and Coach Heupel came in. Maybe Sam Jackson was here too, so you kind of know how these things go a little bit more than some of your other teammates. So just kind of knowing that experience and you being an older guy, how has the team kind of adjusted? How have they responded? You know, obviously I know it was a shock when everything happened the way it did with Coach Heupel leaving so late. So. With Gus coming in, how how would you say the teams kind of rally behind that, and and how how are the guys getting along with with the new staff overall? I think just uh, from the first day uh, the new staff started stepping in, stepping in, it's just been uh, we the team has been able to keep themselves vulnerable um, to change because like a lot of people say, like EG was saying, it's not the strongest that survive; it's it's the ones that are vulnerable to change that are really going to push themselves and become great. So us being vulnerable to change and the team buying in we can get started a whole lot faster because we're trying to build great relationships with these guys and we're trying to build some trust. So whatever they're telling us we need to do, we trust them that it's going to be the right thing. And we're going to trust them in, in their words and that we're going to go perform for them. Cole, uh, Chris Dawson's a long time strength and conditioning guy, well known among, among college football guys. Um, what have you got to glean from him, I guess, early on so far in the process and, and what, is, what stood out to you about his, his strength and conditioning program? Uh, he's a big time on uh, discipline, and um, I'm a big fan of that. You know, discipline is a huge factor when it comes to strength and uh, conditioning. And he's attention to details, whether it's through warm up or it's the very end of your last rep. He's he's going to push you and he's going to motivate you, whether um, you don't get it or you do. He's going to he's just going to make you feel good about yourself and understand what what you need to get better at and why you need to get better at it. But I, I love the I love the guy so far. He's he's been amazing and um, couldn't be happier. 
How would you describe Coach Malzahn's approach during a practice and how it was different than what you had experienced before here? Oh, he's he's a high energy guy, and I love it. You know, he's he's straightforward. He's going to tell you what he wants, and he, we're we're going to perform for him. He's he's. I mean, I really like it. I really like how our practice is, is uh, shaped, and we're just go 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 go. We're going to get it done. We're going to get all of our work as many reps as we can in the time that we have, and uh, I think it's great. Honestly, he does a great job of that, and um, I, I'm looking forward to the rest of spring ball with him. Well, when you look at the offense, obviously Dylan returns, most of the offensive line returns. But, you know, there's some competition, obviously some running backs and wide receivers and different spots. Uh, maybe has anyone kind of – I know it's only two practices and you guys haven't had a full scrimmage, but has anyone looked good? Has anyone impressed you? Or is there anyone you think is maybe going to have a breakout spring when you look at the offense? Right now I'm really just trying to focus on uh, the task at hand. But at this point, everyone's kind of starting off in the same uh, position with this new staff. So – we could have some guys jumping out. We might not, but it's all about consistency. Who's going who's to jump out consistently every single day we got practice and in the weight room, in the classroom. We just need guys. We're going to stay consistent. And um, I hope we got some guys jump out. I, I'd love that. Cole, Dylan's ready to start year three at, at quarterback. Um, it seems uh, during, during all this transition, he's, he stood up and took more of a, of a leadership role. Have you seen that from him? And, and what's it been like as he gets ready for year three? Yeah, you, especially in the locker room, you know, he's the guy who's really going to try to make his, his uh, rounds with the uh, position groups, building relationships. You know, a lot of us have great relationships with him. Um, I think he's been doing a great job being vocal, especially on the field with his new staff, really trying to keep us attention to detail. Um, but I think he's a great uh, locker room leader, um, and he just needs to keep it up and keep pushing himself, especially on game days or on uh, the practice fields when it gets towards the end during the team. All right, last question from Brandon. Cole, can you just kind of speak a little bit about, you know, the development you've seen from Matt Lee? Obviously, he came in as a true freshman, kind of got some heat early on, mm -hmm. obviously rebounded, it was all conference and all that. What have you seen from him, and what are your, kind of your expectations of him going forward now that he's more experienced and entrenched on the line? Uh, he's, he's a tough kid, man, really tough kid. Um, when he first came in, uh, you already know he had the mental toughness. He already had the physical toughness, um, especially you've seen last season, that little bump in the road. You really saw he just put his head down and went to work. And that's the type of guy he is, you know, he's a comes in and works and, and leaves, you know, he's just a first one in last one out type of guy. Um, I live with him. So I know that firsthand he's hardworking kid, man. And there's nothing but up for him. I'm excited to see what he does in the future.